guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So exciting news. I couldn't be more ecstatic. The time has come where I get to sh share with you that my truck has been completed. Now, if you're just joining me on this journey here, um, I bought a 22 Sierra Elevation 1500 with the Duramax package, a Duramax on it, and the X31 package, which is the off-road package. Uh, I bought that, uh, was it last year, at the beginning of this year? Uh, yeah, I bought it kind of in the beginning towards, the, uh, I bought it in June or something like that. And we're in November. And the truck has was in and out of the shop in this short period of time, about a month and a half of the same thing, admissions. I've been having troubles with the admissions and, and a few other things, but it's predominantly, I was getting a check engine light for the exhaust. Something with the exhaust system is not right. And so after being in the shop uh, about five times, um, I had the option to do, I started researching, you know, a lot of you guys said, oh, do Lemon Law. I went directly to the dealer uh, and the dealer asked, hey, if you don't do a Lemon Law, I can do you a truck, get it built fast. I can build you whatever you want. And I'll also get you pretty much a discount on it and sell it to you at the current pricing that you pay for that one and more. So I decided to do that. This process started back at the beginning of October, October 1st, and then um, post, I'm probably gonna post this on Thanksgiving Day, uh, but it started on October 1st is when I actually filed the initial claim with GM or through the dealer or whatever. Um, I didn't do a lemon law. I know a lot of you guys said do a lemon law, you can get your money, you can do pain and stuff and all this other stuff. It wasn't about money. I wanted a, a nice truck like I have outside. And it just so happened though, you know, not doing the Lemon Law, I was actually able to build to what I would consider a better truck. Um, I got the same color, it's a 23, uh, and it's got way more options than mine has. Uh, now in that truck, I did do cat skin leather, the one sitting outside my 22. I did cat skin leather and I kind of color matched the truck a little bit. It's beautiful, a lot of people think it's factory, but it's not. Uh, and that's what I did to the truck. And then I added on some, some rails, some side steps. Uh, and uh, at about 500 miles, I started having some problems with check engine light. Um, and I would reset the code myself uh, by just pulling the battery and checking the, you know, doing my reader on there and it was giving me some codes, but I just keep resetting it. So after about, at about a thousand miles, I said, I'm done doing this, this is going to the dealer. So between a thousand miles and 3,500 miles, it was in and out of the shop for about a month and a half or so for the same issue, the exhaust. Now other issues I had were the radio cutting out with static and things like that. And to this day, it still does that. Uh, and I've also had, they replaced the backup camera. Uh, it went out several times. And until this day, it is still doing that. Now the exhaust issue and check engine light, it was, it was not, it's so many things happened. All the videos are linked down below from start to finish up until this point right here. So be sure to check the, check the links in the description. You can catch up on all this entire series on my GMC Sierra. So ultimately what they did is they said, hey, if you don't do a lemon law, we'll go ahead and get you a truck and fast track it to you and just get it built pretty quickly for you. Uh, and then we'll swap it out with your current vehicle and then you have your new truck. And turns out there's been two price increases since I bought my truck. Now my truck retailed for about 54,000 before options. And the way I have it optioned now, it came to about 60,000. Uh, and uh, also the color Canyon Red Tent Coat is not available anymore. So that's something that's discontinued but it's, he said it's basically the same color though it's just a different name and it might even have a more deeper cherry look to, you know candy upper red look to it so um i really love the canyon red tank coat it really sparkles uh when the sun hits it uh so i'm hoping this new color uh this other color that they're offering he's he's saying it's a little different but it's basically the same with a different name radiant red tin coat or something like that but you know, uh, volcanic red, that's what it is. Volcanic red, my bad, volcanic red. But he said it's pretty much a different name, but ultimately the same color. So, but in the new truck, like I said, since there's been two price increases since I bought mine, now my truck starts at about, instead of 54 or 53 or whatever it started at, now it starts at about 59. So um, the truck that I built also has more options on it. Um, I have the bowl system in there now. I have a sunroof in there now. It has leather. It has the HD surround vision sound in there now. So, and uh, and also, I, again, that same color. But I'm, and I also got the blackout kit this time. I'll sh I can't wait to show you the truck. Because um, there are some things that are that are back ordered that I opted out of just so I can get the truck fast as possible. But, um, and that's just the multi-flex tailgates. But um, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm considering asking them, can I have the <laughs> 
hey, it is what it is. It, they don't. They, if they say no, they say no. But I don't think it'll even. The color probably wouldn't match anyway. I don't know. But hey, doesn't hurt to ask. I even asked about my seats that I put in here, the cat skin leather. Can you just put them in the other truck? And they said no. We'll compensate you by just letting you upgrade to leather on to our leather. I'm like, whatever. That's fine. So. I'm pretty excited. The truck has been produced, and now I'm waiting for it to ship. Um, I, I'm I'm kind of ecstatic. I'm kind of surprised. Um, it has been a long time. Again, I started this process for the complaint version, basically, or the the official notification of GM. Hey, the dealer set it up and started doing everything for me on October 1st, I believe, or something like that. And now we're at the end of November, and it seemed like eternity. But uh, to know that the truck has been built already. And it's getting ready to get shipped. I'm ecstatic. So, I um from start to finish, man. Way back in June when I bought the truck, I started having problems. But the Duramax is something that a lot of people say stick with. The dealer told me don't give up on the Duramax. I'm telling you it's great. But I would rather not pay at the pump. Um, while I don't visit the pump very often, I w I'm okay with um, getting around town right now. I get between 20, like when the truck stops. Most of the time, while I'm driving, I'm getting 35, 45 around town. Uh, and I'll get the same thing while I'm driving around town in the V8 that I'm going, because I'm switching to a V8. Uh, I'll get the same thing around town cause when I'm cruising or whatever. But I don't know on average that I'll be getting 25. I might get between 17 and 20. I'm hopefully, hopefully going to get that by the way I drive. And then on the highway, I cruise. So I'll definitely get better gas mileage on the highway. But I don't want to pay at the pump anymore. I, that's one, another reason why I wanted to bounce up from the from the diesel and go back to a traditional gas. My Cadillac is obviously a gas car. My Camaro's V8 is a gas car. You know what I'm saying? So I'm okay with having a bunch of V8s uh, <laughs> and just paying at the pump, you know, probably twice instead of once a month. And because I'll pay less. You know what I'm saying? So the, the Duramax cost me over 100 bucks to fill up. And then when I take it on a long trip, it does very well. I've gotten six six hundred and fifty on a tank w with the Duramax if I keep it on the highway, uh, and so that's very impressive. I probably won't ever be able to do that that much on the V8. It, I'd have to really be cruising at fifty five the entire trip. So I'm not too much worried about it. I just wanted to, to let you guys know uh, on this Thanksgiving Day special. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post this on Thanksgiving Day, uh, but I'm pretty excited, man. And um, I, it's just it feels good to know that the truck has been produced now a little bit more backstory the truck start the product uh, the target production date was the 14th uh and so i got a message saying hey jay your truck is going to be produced on the 14th and and uh it i hadn't heard anything else after that and then when i emailed her she was like because i've been dealing back and forth with gm the deal is doing everything the dealer set this up or whatever the dealer placed my order but i've been talking directly to gm so um I decided to just communicate with them. So they created a service request or whatever. And she said, just contact me directly when you want to know about your truck. That way you don't have to worry about expressing yourself all over again to different people, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that's butter. So um, that's what I've been doing. And I know she's probably going to email me uh, sometime this week and say, hey, here's your VIN number and blah, blah, blah. And then I can put the truck into my account and track where it's at. Because that's what I do on my Sierra. That's what I do with any vehicle that I've ordered. Once I get the VIN number, I add it to my account, my GM account, uh, and then I can see where it's at. So I don't have to contact them for anything. You know, I can just wait. So I'm excited, man. Um, the truck, she said the truck did get a little bit delayed on, on the 14th or whatever. But um, knowing that it's produced now and just waiting to be shipped, I can't be more happy. I am ecstatic, man. So. I appreciate all you guys joining me on this journey or whatever, man, and uh, listen to me gripe about the problems uh, that I was having. But now let's get some positive vibes going. All you guys who came, thousands of people came to watch my problems and, and enjoy my pain, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> pretty much, and, uh, you know, watch things fall apart for me. Um, but I wanted to post this this uh, online like this on my car channel. So just in case somebody else goes through this, they know this might be an option you might want to take. You know, so uh, that's that's really what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about rushing uh, to, try to try to get some money or whatever or try to screw the dealer over or screw GM over. Uh, that's not what it's about. It's about getting a truck parked in that, that driveway that's not going to fail me immediately once I get it. All, all trucks and all vehicles have to have some kind of service done at some point. Uh, but it just so happened that the, my Duramax sitting outside right now was having a lot of emissions problems. 
So, um, and I had a few electrical problems too with the radio and camera and stuff like that, but, uh, and it's still having those problems. Uh, but I will say, um, when I took it to Oklahoma, I was having a problem with it getting fuel. And he told me he changed the injectors on there twice. So that has a lot to do with that too. So I'm, I got to get out of this truck regardless. Even if I was sticking with the diesel, this one was going bye-bye. Uh, but you know, the diesel fuel economy is nice. I'm not towing that much right now. So um, we'll see how this works out. But I just want to bring this to you, man. I'm super excited. I, I just can't, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped up. I can't wait. To, to get my VIN number and everything from the, uh, I know they're gonna holler at me and give it to me and then I'll, I'll update you guys again on that but um it's your man Jay I hope you guys enjoyed and I am oh man, I'm so so excited so hopefully the next video in the next week or so you see or two or whatever you know I'll give you some updates uh, on it some more but if you haven't seen any of the previous videos and you want to catch up and you have no idea what I'm talking about Look down in the links in the description. Part one through whatever is down there waiting for you. And you'll have a good laugh. You'll have a good cry. You'll be like, oh, man, I can't believe he did that. Man, he's crazy. I would have did. You'll have there are all kind of emotions going through you because I can see it in the comments of some of those videos. Some of you guys have me laughing and say, man, I would have went off a long time ago. But nope, not your man. I'm trying to wait it out and get it done and get the most out of the situation I could possibly get. And I'm about to get it, man, because the, the new truck is built with way more options and I'm paying less. This is your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.